A very warm welcome to the launch event for Project Bijou. We are really excited about the project. And although we had originally planned an in-person event where we could hear from our speakers and meet each other, the need to pivot on those plans opened up unexpected and rather lovely new opportunities to involve more people and present more content. We've tried to grasp those opportunities with both hands and I'm so grateful to all our wonderful contributors from all over the world for making this such a rich experience. What is Project Bijou and why are we doing it? Well, you can find lots of information about the project here on our website. I would encourage you to take a good look, but especially at the short introduction videos, because there is a very good reason for the project name and it feeds directly into what it is we are hoping to achieve. Why are we doing it? Well, the starting point for us as the data protection regulator for the Bailiwick of Guernsey faced with the enormous challenge of the new data protection legislation has been to reflect deeply and carefully on what the law and what we are here for. What are we seeking to achieve and what do good outcomes look like? Now, this may sound a rather simplistic starting point, especially when looking at such a big and complex piece of legislation. But I think there is a danger when faced with a big task in whatever context of our lives that we don't take the time to work out exactly where we want to be going and whether the things we are busying ourselves with are likely to successfully take us there. And data has really become such a fundamental part of our lives, often in ways we are entirely oblivious to. The sheer scale of the issue needs to prompt a reframing of the conversation, a reframing of our understanding of harms, a reframing of what we mean by good outcomes and how we can best work to achieve them. Because there are good outcomes to be had, where individuals are treated with dignity and equality, and our economies thrive on using our data in ethical as well as legal ways. This really does have the potential to be a win-win. But we have to acknowledge that at the minute there is a bit of a disconnect. You may not see yourself as a data or technology expert or privacy professional. And most people see data and its protection as being a tech or privacy pro issue. What's the first thing that you think of when you hear the words data, data protection, data security? Probably a hooded hacker or a row of ones and zeros. We need to move away from that. When we think of data, what should come to our minds? The faces of our family, our friends, our colleagues, our fellow citizens. We care about those people. And if we care about something, there is a deeper, more personal connection, a sense that this is not about something removed from us or too big a problem for us to deal with. It's about our life and our community. We need to make this issue more relatable, more relevant to people. And then there is a reason for us all to care. I'm not sure anyone has ever had an epiphany after reading the text of any data protection law but we do have epiphanies when we realise that we are directly connected to certain things and directly impacted by them. And you are connected and this does impact you. This is not and must not become the sole preserve of regulators, lawyers or technologists alone. We need this conversation to move beyond impenetrable legal and policy language. This is about every single one of us. The question is therefore, how do we engage meaningfully and how do we reduce harms effectively? Because there are harms, but we are not generally very good at comprehending them, nor do we feel that empowered to do much about them. So Project Bijou aims first and foremost to trigger more conversations, positive engagement and a normalising of ethical and legal use of our personal data. So it's a cultural effort as much as it is a legal one. And when we talk about culture, we mean the attitudes, uh, the values, the aspirations, the identity we all have individually and collectively. And we may not actively think about these things very often, but they have a profound effect on our lives and how we live them. And it has a direct impact on our behaviours, what we do 
and why we do it. Have a think about your own behaviour. What motivates you to do anything? It's more often than not when we really care about something that we'll be most motivated to do something, to invest our time and effort into it. So our aim is to encourage us all to care, not just because we say you, you should, but because its importance is clear to you. Our aim is also not to talk at you, but to bring these issues to you in a relevant and positive way. We know that we need to communicate better and that will lead to better awareness, better engagement and more empowerment. As a regulator, our very existence and our activities are determined by law. That law tells us what we must do around things like breaches and complaints. It also requires us to promote public awareness of risks, rules, regulations, safeguards and rights, especially in relation to children. And also to promote awareness of controllers and processes of their duties. And enforcement is always important, but it's never going to be enough. It's also invariably after the event and harm that's done is hard to undo. And as you'll see from our strategy and the aims of Project Bijou, we want to prevent those harms as much as possible. In the same way that as a society, we do more than provide ambulances when considering road safety. This means it's a collective endeavour and it's a community endeavour. We do sometimes need to talk about legal definitions, but more importantly, we need to talk about ourselves as human beings. We want to help you navigate the data world and be empowered to engage with it proactively and positively, and importantly, to consciously pass that knowledge, that understanding on to colleagues, friends, family. If you've seen the video, you will know what I mean when I say that this is about sharing knowledge of the milk bottle tops. This week is just the start of something. The rest of the journey depends as much on you as it does on us. As a small regulator in a small jurisdiction, we can't change the world, but we can build something special for the bailiwick. None of us can do everything, but all of us can do something. Thank you so much for joining us this week and beyond. I hope you enjoy the rich array of content and hearing from some truly wonderful and insightful contributors, people who have vast experience in this area, people who are charged with looking after our data, people who innovate, as well as books, movies and other content recommendations. We want this to be a truly immersive experience and one which helps to launch further interest and inquiry across our community. Because although it's largely ephemeral, we are all immersed in data and how it's treated will impact us more and more profoundly. The potential for good is limitless, but the potential for harm is equally so. Which path we go down really is up to us. Thank you again, and don't forget, you matter, your data matters, spread the word.